So this project came about through a desire to bring together two leading Toulouse ensembles, the Maîtrise de Toulouse, which is the choir school of the Toulouse Conservatoire, and the Toulouse Sac Boutier, the Toulouse Sac Bats. I proposed to Jean-Pierre Cagnac, the director of the Sac Boutier, to conceive a programme based around Victoria's Requiem. Of course, there are already many fine recordings of this work, but we thought we could bring something new in bringing together instruments and the choir. Most of the recordings that exist together today are uh, uniquely by choirs. Um, and also our recording uses children's voices for the upper voice, voices of the choir, as would have been the case in cathedral choirs in Spain at the time. Les sacs boutiers et la maîtrise sont deux ensembles qui sont parfaitement adaptés à cette musique-là dans la mesure où euh, nous savons que dans les grandes funérailles royales espagnoles de cette époque, il y avait un dispositif, on pourrait dire spectaculaire, dans lequel euh, les instruments participaient pleinement. On entend souvent cette musique aujourd'hui, ou exclusivement cette musique, le, le Requiem de Victoria, chanté euh, sans instruments et euh, on sait que euh, les instruments participaient. Nous avons des témoignages de première, de première main qui, qui nous expliquent que euh, les voix et les instruments participaient à ces cérémonies. Et donc ces instruments en Espagne servaient pour soutenir les voix d'enfants dans les, dans les chœurs, dans les cases cathédrales et donc euh, les soutenir et donner donc, euh, cette rondeur de son qu'on a complètement perdue de nos jours. Donc euh, voilà, c'était ça, ça l'idée qu'on a, qu a eue avec Marc. And we then worked together with Philippe Conguiem, musicologist at the Toulouse University and also a member of the Sac Boutier, to complete the programme with other works by lesser known Spanish composers and he found us some pieces by uh, Marquez, Romero and Patino that have probably never, never been recorded before uh, and which complete the programme alongside the works of two better known composers, Guerrero and Lobo's famous Versa Est in Luctum. What we do is that we are looking for perfection and more details and it's, a, it's very enriching. And also there's there's all the thing beside the recording, such as um, sharing moments together, having lunch, and laughing, and all, of, all this stuff. So recording is an important part of the Mitrise's work for several reasons. Firstly, the experience in itself of uh, bringing the whole choir together for two days, shut in a church, and working together to try and achieve the very best possible result. Uh, it's also a way of marking the history of the choir and seeing how the choir evolves. Obviously, the characteristic of this kind of choir is that every year we lose our most experienced singers and replace them by, with beginners. Uh, so there is nobody on this recording that was on the choir's first recording from nine years ago. And yet, I think that you can still hear that it's the same choir. And finally, of course, it's a way of bringing the maîtrise to, to the attention of a wider, of a wider public. Ici au Temple du Salin, il y a une, une acoustique qui est vraiment euh, incroyable et euh, que, qui est aussi parfaitement adaptée aux œuvres qu'on chante, qui permet vraiment de bien raisonner et euh, d'accéder à tout leur potentiel. There is a great choral tradition of singing in England and one tends to forget that there are great choral traditions in other countries as well. And it is marvelous to see a tradition being established in France with uh, Les Maîtrises in various centres and particularly here in Toulouse because I think this particular children's choir achieves the most exceptional standards and results equal and equivalent to anything achieved by a children's choir anywhere in the world and um, I think that uh, the choir deserves this recognition that they can sing absolutely any music, any repertoire, all to um, an exceptional world-class standard. This recording has been possible thanks to the huge support of the Toulouse Conservatoire and the town of Toulouse. 
um, and supported also by the associations of our two ensembles and in the case of the Maîtrise de Toulouse by the Fondation Betancourt. Uh, the Maîtrise was the laureate of the Prix Betancourt in 2017. Ce que j'aime, c'est enfin, que la maîtrise, avant tout, c'est un peu comme une famille. On apprend à chanter, mais, mais dans la joie et, et la bonne humeur. <rire>